Okay, I wanted to, this is that last panel that I did, the fourth one, where I used the uh, foam board oven and a heat gun to melt the EVA. And it, it didn't turn out perfect, but it turned out pretty good, and it's putting out pretty good, uh, good power. Most of the places that you see like this, or there's probably a little something on the solder. The last batch of EVA I got <clears throat> wasn't as heavy a thickness as the first one I, I ordered. Anyway, this panel actually turned out the best out of all four though. So I do like using the oven and it is a lot faster than using the, uh, the heat lamps. I used the heat lamps on this one and it was better than the first two I did because I got a little better at using it, but you can still see, like right here where uh, I did get some bubbles where I got too close with the heat lamp. Lamps, I should say. See, and on this one, this was only the second one I did. Same thing, I got some bubbles there. And right up on, on this one. They still seem to be, power-wise, all three of these, even with the bubbles on, seem to put out about the same. Um, this was the first one I tried with the heat lamps, like I said. <clears throat> and the center didn't turn out very well at all on this one, but that was the first time I tried it. And I started out with a heat gun, and then I went to the heat lamps. Um, that's the tracker right now. I'm still waiting for... Red Rock to send me the dual axis tracker that I ordered in May. I haven't heard anything from them yet. Um, see, it's turning right now. It's adjusting. So it's an overcast day today. There isn't really much sun. And I still have to make make the scissors for raising this up and down. I'll have a motor like this one with a threaded rod between um, some square tubing set up like a scissors deal where it'll pull together and push apart to raise the elevation on this. You also need to brace the one inch, two, inch and a quarter tubing that I have here isn't as strong as I thought it would be, so I'm going to have to build a uh, a little more bracing underneath it to make it a little more sturdy. The bottom doesn't matter because I've got a leg at the bottom of each one of those panels coming down. Anyway, this will be all I'll have on this rack will be these four. If I decide to do another one, I'll do another one right behind it here. Okay. One thing too on this panel, I really, I didn't check it before I went to put it together. And I forgot to alternate every other row when I put it together. So I ended up, after it was all laminated really nice, I had to run, run a wire up from each row to the other end in order to get my, uh, the circuitry running the right way. So I was kind of preoccupied, worried about the oven and I, I completely forgot about inverting it every other rule. So, but like I said, you can still you can still go around that and and run wire up the outside if you have to. If you do goof up like I did, but waiting for a good sunny day now. Let's see what I get out of these. I I know that uh, <clears throat> when I added each time I added a panel, I actually lost some wattage from what I got out of an individual panel, so I'm still not sure why I'm getting that. Um, I'm getting around 450 to close to 500 watts out of these on a real bright sunny day, but I should be getting way more than that, so I'll have to figure that out. 
You can see on the bottom corner of this panel right here where that's it's kind of lighter. I actually had to peel the tedlar back there. I had my uh, bus wire too close to the cell and it was shorting out and it was affecting the panel so I had to peel that back. I'm, when I got some time I'm going to take that panel down and uh, and cut that one cell out and and resolder it and uh, put in another cell. Anyway, said I'd make a video for some of the people that asked, so I'm finished with these for a while. I probably won't be making any for a while now, but that, the foam oven does work really well.